Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I ordered from e.l.f. Cosmetics because they arrived this morning and I was super excited to like open my parcel and go through them all and I wanted to share them with you all because I know I found it quite hard to find vegan and cruelty free makeup brands and a lot of my favourite makeup is from brands that are cruelty free and have some vegan items like Barry M, Lazelle and Urban Decay but when I heard about e.l.f. I was really excited to have a whole brand full of vegan stuff that you kind of don't have to worry about reading the ingredients and checking if it's vegan. And when I went onto their website I was really happy to see that not only are they cruelty free and vegan but they're also really inexpensive which is amazing because it just makes them so accessible. Um, I got a whole box full. Um, I don't know why I had such a big box because it was not full up but um, there's quite a lot in there and I think it all came to under like £30 which is really cheap and if you ordered above I believe it was £25 you got free shipping and a free gift so my order was coming in at like £22 but then I just added in a little something because I thought it was worth it for the free shipping and the free gift especially because it shipped from America I believe so it did take quite a while to come so it's worth bearing that in mind so I used a lot of these new products this morning alongside all of my old favourites to do my makeup and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Um, sorry if that's like a bad advert for e.l.f. but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And I thought that next week I would do a what's in my makeup bag to show you my favourite products across lots of different brands. And I'm sure that a lot of these are going to be in here because I am loving them so far one day in. Uh, but let's get into it, I'll show you what I bought and I'll tell you if I'm wearing it today. So first I thought I'd start with the free gift and there were three items in the free gift. So there was a lip balm, a baked highlighter and blush and then also a eyeshadow palette. So the lip balm is a uh, lip balm tint and it's a kind of ready colour, um, it's what I've got on right now. So it gives you, oh there's a hair attached to that, sorry that's gross, probably one of these. But yeah I really like this, it's something that I would not have ordered um, but I really like it so I will order it again so that was a great free gift. Then the eyeshadow palette I have not, ooh. I have not used it yet, um, but it's got these colours in it and I really like as well that it has a piece of plastic that goes above it that tells you which part of your eye you're supposed to put each thing on, so like the crease, the lid, the base, which may be obvious to some people, um, but for me I am definitely not an experienced like makeup person. I have one look, um, which is this, that I wear whenever I put on makeup, which isn't even that often, um, especially now that I work at home. I don't really see people for days on end, apart from my mum and Matt and the dogs. Um, so yeah, I don't wear makeup that much, and when I do, I wear this, or if I'm going out for a night and I need a bit more makeup, I'll wear like a red lipstick, put on a bit more mascara, and a bit more blusher. So yeah, for people like me, this is very useful. Then the final thing in the free gift um, is the baked highlighter and blush and I really like the um, pink colour for a blush. Um, for me though it wasn't quite pigmented enough um, so I used this this morning but then I also put some of my old blush on top of it. Um, I was going to say if you have fair skin it would be good for you but I have very fair skin. Um, yeah I liked it, I'll probably maybe just layer it up a bit more when I use it but I, I really like the shade but yeah it just didn't come out quite dark enough on me. Now onto the items that I ordered and there are one, two, three, four, six things here and they all came to I think it was 26 or 27 pound which is really good. Um, so the first thing is this prime and stay finish powder. It looks really white um, under this lighting but it's not that pale. I used it today um, to kind of set my makeup and I really really like it. It kind of, more than just the other powders I use, you can kind of tell it gives you like a proper finish to your makeup so I, I really like this. I would definitely be using this. The next thing is this mineral infused face primer um, which you can't see very clearly there but I absolutely love this, um, it gives such like a nice velvety feel and I really like my primer that I'm using at the moment um, and I was worried I wouldn't find one that I liked equally but I love this so yeah I'll definitely be using this as well. The next thing is this concealer and highlighter um, wand 
and I used this this morning for under my eyes and I get quite bad like almost like purpley bluey colour bags under my eyes and this really helped to cover them up so I'm pleased with that and I'm not gonna lie I do not know what to do um, with this end oh it's got a pink wand with white stuff on it um, yeah <laughs> I'm not really sure what you do with that I'll look it up I'm not sure if you're supposed to put that under your eyes before the concealer maybe um, but I didn't use that so I'll look into what to do with that then the next thing is this cool bronzer kit with four different colours and I really really like this so I used the um, whitey colour uh, to do like the base for my eyelids, my eyelids, my eyeshadow. I told you I was not good at makeup. Um, I guess it is for my eyelids. And then I used um, the lighter bronze for just kind of across the lids. And then I used this dark one for in my crease. And I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And then I used this darker one here for a bit of contour um, on my cheeks. And again, I really like the one that I have now, and I was worried that I wouldn't kind of like another one, but I'm really pleased with this. Um, this blush, I think, is a little bit too dark for me, but I'll try it out and see. Maybe it's not a blush, but I'm going to assume it is. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try it out and see how that looks. And then finally, the product which I was most worried about, but I'm happy with how it turned out, is the eyebrow kit. And I actually ordered it in this colour, which is dark, and then this colour which is medium. This was where I was deciding between the two colours and I had to order a few pounds more to get the free gift and free shipping so I thought I would order them both and I'll find a way to use them both out um, anyway. But I was really worried about ordering a new eyebrow kit because I love the one I have and I'm not sure if you've ever seen in one of my videos, I don't think I would have mentioned it, but on this side I actually only have half an eyebrow. Um, so my eyebrow only goes up to here and then these eyebrows like grow upwards and I've had it my whole life. When I was in primary school people would be like, have you shaved your eyebrow? Oh my god that's so bad. I thought I was like an absolute rebel and I'd shave my eyebrow. But no, I was just born that way. Um, oh, you alright Kit? Sorry about that, Kitty got a little bit excited but she's all calm now. Um, but yeah, I was really worried um, about finding another one that was vegan and cruelty free that I liked but I used, I think, the dark one today. Yeah, I use this one. Um, so this is the kind of gel that you use and then this is the powder that you fill it in with. And it comes with a little angled brush, which I really like. I never use this end, I only ever use the angled one. Um, and I'm really pleased with the colour, I think it really suits my hair. And then the medium one, I will try that out as well. Let me show you the colour. Oh, this has still got the plastic on. Um, so it's just a little bit lighter, so again you've got the, I think that's the gel, and then this one here is the powder, um, ooh, and it's got the angled brush. But I will definitely try that one out um, and see how it goes in my eyebrows. I think it might be a little bit too light at the moment, but maybe when I get some more blonde put in my hair, or in the summer, I will use that one. So that is everything that I ordered from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I am really, really happy with it all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always my aim is just to show how easy and fun it can be to live a vegan and cruelty free lifestyle. So if you have any questions or any other videos that you'd like to see, please leave them down below. And as I mentioned, I will be filming a what's in my makeup bag video next week for you guys so you can see all of my favourite products across lots of different brands. So look out for that coming soon if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!